Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'm Jenny and this is our Houston Smith home. I'm sitting in my driveway right now, headed out to town. I'm going to do a Walmart grocery pickup today and I thought I would share that with you. I also have something exciting to share. Have y'all seen the circle water bottles where you can put the different flavored cartridges in there and you can kind of dial them up or down and and set the uh, intensity of the flavor. I had never heard of them. Uh, my son has been begging for one. And so they were so kind to send me one for us to try out. He's been trying it out all week and I'm excited to share that with you. So stick around for that. We'll do a grocery haul. I'll see if I can come up with a meal plan. I'm gonna be honest. I put in this grocery order last night. I'm stocking up on a lot of snacks for the kids, stuff for school lunches. I didn't think a whole lot about meals, but I did try to get some meats and some sides and I'm gonna try to put together a little bit of a meal plan. I spent well over $200 and like I said, I did not even probably plan out a good week's worth of meals. So I'm hoping I can make it through the week on that, but y'all groceries have gotten so tremendously high. So y'all tell me in the comments, give me all your budgeting tips. How are you budgeting your groceries? Are you doing well? I used to shop the sales and really try to keep up with a grocery budget. That has just gone out the window, but I would love to kind of tighten it back in and stick to a better budget. So y'all let me know in the comments, tell me any tips and tricks you have for budgeting your groceries, or if you want to share any good YouTubers or anybody that you follow that has good tips like that, put it in the comments. That can help us all out. I hope y'all enjoy the video. I hope you're having a good week. Let's get to Walmart. First up, let's take a look at this Circle water bottle. Thank you again to Circle for sending us these free products. Kellen could not wait to get it open when he got home from school and see what it's all about. They included this handwritten note, which I thought was so sweet. It came with this pamphlet that tells all about it and how to work it. it. Came with a couple of cool stickers. Kellen wants to stick those on his bottle. He was excited about those. And then they sent him several flavors to try out. He chose the blue color in the bottle. And then he also got the chill sleeve in the blue. And so that's the color that he chose. They have several different colors that you can choose from. And then they just sent him a little variety pack of sips or the flavored cartridges to try out. So after we washed the bottle up, he could not wait to get started and give it a try. He chose the squeeze lemonade line in the pink lemonade. That's what he chose to try out first. So you just put that cartridge right in the top. That's actually going to be your lid and what you drink out of. And then you'll see it has different numbers. It starts with an X. That would just be drinking plain water. So you can choose plain water and you can dial it all the way up. He's gonna start on number three, but if just kind of in the middle, this will get you six full bottles. This is a 22 ounce bottle. So you get six bottles out of one cartridge. So after a little bit of trial and error, he's moving those numbers around as you can see, and you'll see his reaction. He started with three and then I think he dialed it up pretty high and he got a pretty intense flavor, which I think was a little too much for him. But in the end, he decided that number five was the magic number and that is what he liked to keep it on. And that's just about in the middle. So all of these Sips flavor cartridges are actually zero sugar, zero calories, and contain no artificial dyes. Some of them are sweetened with different things like sucralose, but they do have a line that is sweetened with stevia, which I like. I will leave a link to their website down in the description box, or you can always check them out at Walmart if you want to look into these more, but we are really liking them so far. Let's get into the haul, y'all. I'm not even going to pretend like this is a healthy haul. There's probably nothing here <laughs> that you could consider healthy. Um, and this is just like a spur of the moment order. I sat down and ordered it last night. I didn't plan anything out. This is what happens when I don't plan anything out. I mean, junk galore. But let's start over here. A few items that aren't um, food related. I just needed some contact solution. That's the solution I have used my entire life. I really like this. I don't ever stray. That's what I always get. Needed just some disinfecting wipes. I like to keep these in the boys' bathroom because, let's be honest, boys are nasty. And some flushable wipes, which 
we do not flush. Did get a little bit of fruit. The only fruit I got this week though was some bananas, which these look really good, and some apples. The boys have been wanting apples lately, so I tried to just get them some small ones they can just grab and eat, and I did get a pineapple back there. Now, somebody hold me accountable to actually cut that pineapple up because the last two I bought, I have thrown away because when I get them, they're still so green, and then a few days go by, and by the time I think about it, then again, they are already too ripe, so somebody hold me accountable in like two days send me a message and say hey did you ever cut that pineapple thank you <laughs> uh, i got a little variety of yogurts here my favorite is the too good and i just like the vanilla and i'll add like granola and some fruit or granola and chocolate chips or just eat it plain however you want it jason has really been liking these lately it's the light and fit in the caramel apple pie he says they're really good and then uh the boys asked for these they like the key lime pie Chobani flips. And then I did get them some Go-Gurt. I used to always get the dairy-free and I cannot find them anymore. If anybody sees the dairy-free go -Gurts, let me know where you find them. I could only find them at Walmart and now Walmart has stopped carrying them. So if y'all see those anywhere, let me know. Uh, back here, I got the little 10 count bags of Funyuns because Colton asked for Funyuns and he wants to take them to school. So I'll have to hide this box so he can take those to school. But I did get him a big bag that he can eat on here. Here's the issue though. Here's the issue with Funyuns. They are over $5 a bag now, $5 a bag. And he will sit down and eat that whole bag in one sitting. So, I mean, we just can't really afford the Funyuns much over here, but hey, we splurged this week. Uh, Kellen asked for pretzels. So I just got him a bag of pretzels, which those will last him a little while, I think. Um, Jason wanted some dip. This dip is awesome, y'all. Deep fried pickle. It's the Dean's dip. Deep fried pickle. So good. So I got him some chips to go with that. Um, got a couple of bags of these uh, tortilla chips. We're going to do, I think we're going to do nachos one night. So just got a couple of bags of those and some of this uh, cheese dip to go along with that. We like the Gordos cheese dip. Got some salad, uh, just some lettuce. Just or salads or like if I do tacos or nachos or something we might use those avocado Kellen asks for avocados he loves avocado toast now he's the pickiest eater ever but he loves avocado toast so I, I like got him some of this bread he likes the white wheat bread I got myself some of this it's just like the bakery um Italian bread and I like to do the avocados on it but he just likes the plain so we got that got some zucchini for a side one night got some of this rayos rails I'm not sure how you say it um, marinara. I'm going to do spaghetti one night. I feel like I do tacos and spaghetti every week. So somebody give me some ideas in the comments. Give me some supper ideas. Uh, I also have some Hawaiian rolls that need to be used. I bought like a big pack at Sam's and I need to use them. So I'm going to make some of those little ham and cheese uh, sliders. So I got that. Kellen, he'll eat pizza three times a day if you let him. So I got him a couple of pizzas to keep in the freezer. Uh, did splurge on some eggs, but y'all, honestly, these organic eggs were really only like five dollars and something. So they were not any more expensive, honestly, than the regular. And so I just went with them. I like the brown eggs. So uh, got those. I'm planning to make some breakfast burritos and put them in the freezer for Jason to take to work. And I bought some of these carb counter. Uh, I have done this for like the last three months, I think I have said. I'm going to make some of these and get them in the freezer. Well, guess what? I haven't. So whenever you're messaging me about this pineapple, go ahead and remind me to make these <laughs> breakfast burritos and get them in the freezer. And if y'all want to see how I make those, let me know. I might film it. So that might be a, a good video. Um, couple of, uh, Lunchables just to throw in lunches. This is the kind Kellen likes. Uh, Colton has some allergies to some of these ingredients, so I get him this brand. They are much more expensive, but he likes them and he can eat them safely. So that's a couple of things for lunches. Uh, just got some different meats. They didn't actually put them in like the clear meat bags. So uh, just got a couple packs of chicken, a couple packs of ground turkey. I think that's all for this week. And I'm just kind of going to wing it. Um, at the end of the video, I'll I'll come up with a little bit of a meal plan and share it with y'all. So stay tuned for that. Now the circle water bottles that I showed you, I thought I ordered a couple of flavors for him to try, but apparently I'm not sure if they were out. I'll have to look at my order, but this is the only one I got, but this is how it comes if you get it from Walmart. And um, so he wanted to try the fruit punch flavor. And this is like the hydrate line. So I think it may have some electrolytes. I'll have to like read up on that. I can't remember, but anyway, he's gonna try that fruit punch. Um, 
Then for drinks, I just got us a gallon of milk. The boys have actually been eating a lot of cereal lately. Um, I know that's terrible, but that's just what they want for supper a lot of times. They don't necessarily eat what we eat. That's my advice if you have kids, start them out when they're babies to eat what you eat. Don't fix them something separate because then they're gonna be nine and 11 and everybody's gonna be eating something different for supper. So that's my own fault, I know. But anyway, milk for that. Um, I just got some Capri Suns because that's easy to throw in Colton's lunchbox for snacks because they still do snack time. So that's just easy. The Roaring Waters I think has a little bit less sugar, but I did notice lately that the regular Capri Suns have cut down on their sugar. So, you know, you might look into that. A uh, couple things of orange juice. They drink orange juice every single morning, so we always need that. This is just some water I use for my Keurig because uh, we have well water and it seems to kind of goop up the Keurig a little bit. So, I just buy usually gallons for that. My favorite coffee creamer, if you've been around here very long at all, you know, uh, Starbucks Caramel Macchiato. I use this every day. Love it, love it, love it. Some Simply Lemonade, we use that. The boys just drink it by itself, but also we use it to sweeten our tea. Like I just make unsweet tea and then we'll put some of that in there and it's really good if you like that. I really like it in the summertime. Um, I think that is all. Y'all are looking at over $200 right here. So I'm telling you, leave those comments, leave those tips for budgeting in the comments. We can all read them and hopefully benefit. All right, let's see what I can come up with for a meal plan. Pretty sure I just skimmed right over these. Um, Kellen asked for Pop-Tarts. I don't buy Pop-Tarts all the time. If I do, I try to get like the uh, Cascadian Farms and uh, the organic ones because Colton can eat them. But occasionally Kellen wants his own and these absolutely are not um, free of dyes and artificial flavors and all that stuff. So Colton absolutely cannot have these. But I hate for Kellen to never get anything, you know, just because his brother can't have them. So, got him some of those. And then Colton did ask for these. They're very good, but what he actually wanted was the, um, I think they're s'mores flavor. And I cannot remember where I got them, but I got him a box and he loved them. And it's the chewy ones of the Kodiak. They have crunchy and chewy. And so he said, just try the chocolate chip. So he's gonna try those. But we love all the Kodiak products. I use the Kodiak cake mix for uh, pancakes and waffles. It's great. We do the Kodiak little muffin cups. Um, those are good. My boys just like them for breakfast. So I recommend that Kodiak brand. They're, they're really good. Anyway, I think I got everything else. So let's get all this mess put up and I'll show you my menu. Okay, so I got this little pad at the Target Dollar Spot a long time ago and I still have this much left and I use it definitely every week. Um, but I just think it's neat because it kind of has the days and you can sort of put your meals and then you can make your grocery list too. So I thought that was pretty cool. But anyway, just the <laughs> same old, same old. We're going to do some nachos with ground turkey. I'm going to do some spaghetti. Uh, I'm going to do some chicken, smashed potatoes, what I call smashed potatoes and zucchini. I shared those over on my Instagram this week. I share a lot of my suppers over there just in my stories. So if you follow me over there, you can catch a lot of meals over there. So it's our Houston Smith home on Instagram. I'm going to do some of those little ham and cheese sliders and I just left the rest open. So it might be kind of like a clean out your fridge and clean out your um, pantry kind of week here. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Come back next week, see what we have in store. Don't forget to check out those circle water bottles. And thank you again for sending that to us to let us try out. We really love them. We're going to try out this new flavor. Hope y'all have a great week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.